In this video, I want to talk about security tokens. Now, security tokens are also known as authentication tokens, hardware tokens, key fobs, USB tokens, etc., etc. So this would also be considered something you have as well. Unlike the smart card, which had the chip that was red, security tokens are connected to your account. What they do is they generate random code which is synced to your username. So for example, I have on my phone, and I keep this specifically for this one lecture every semester to my face-to-face -face students about security, and it is from Battle.net. And now you might not know who Battle.net is, but if you're familiar with World of Warcraft, then you know who Battle.net is, okay? This is my Battle.net authenticator. Now what happens here is that this code is synced, the algorithm is synced to my account. And so if I log into my World of Warcraft account, I know, right, I'm a geek, who would have thunk it? And when I sign into my World of Warcraft account, I need my username and my password, something I know, and then it will ask me for whatever number is displayed on the screen. Now, I'm not worried about showing you my number because it's randomly generated based off my algorithm. So that number is not going to be the number I have when I need it. So if you were to use my username and password, you couldn't, this wouldn't work for you either. So this is what I can take with me to again add an extra layer of security. So somebody could figure out my username and my password, but unless they have that sync and that algorithm thing on their own phone or their own device, they still couldn't log on as me. Now, when I was working for the Bureau, we also had these lanyards, we had our ID thing, and we had a, another kind of key fob. And we used this key fob, it was synced to our email account. So if we wanted to access our email account for the internet, we would have to type in our username and our password, and then very quickly, there wasn't a lot of time on this one, enter the numbers that were on that key fob. Now, what was kind of funny is the Bureau spent a lot of taxpayer money. I would say their money, but it's not, it's our money, it's the taxpayer money. Spent a lot of our money distributing out these key fobs. And they spent, I think it was like a two month or three month rollout before everyone in the Bureau got their own little key fob. Well, during the middle of the rollout, it was discovered that the algorithm that was the whole core of this thing was compromised. In fact, hackers had figured out what it was and basically the tokens kind of became worthless but hey don't let the federal government stop with something that doesn't make sense anymore so we were still issued our key fobs all right in our next video we're going to talk about biometrics this is something you 